Okay, so today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to import a picture into your Silhouette Studio. Let me close my little library. So this is my Silhouette Studio and once you import a picture you can cut it out with your machine and this is why the Silhouette is wicked awesome because you can literally import any picture and cut it out. They're really awesome. So this is for the teacher program. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to search Apple Clip Art because we want something simple. I mean, you can do more detailed images, but for today, we're just going to do something simple. So after I did my search, I just clicked on images and we can go through here and find, oh, what cute little apple we like the best. That one's kind of cute. Okay, let's do this, this one here. So now all I did was click on the apple. You know what, actually, that one's kind of funny on the edges. I don't like that. Let's go back. Let's pick another one. So let's scroll down here. We want a cute one. This is for teachers. We want something something cute and teachery, right? So let's see. Pick our favorite one. I should have had one. I do have one already downloaded on my computer, but I wanted to show you what it is from scratch so that you can get a better idea. You know, sometimes you just try to find the perfect picture and it's just not there. Oh, I kind of like this one though. Let's see if that one looks good. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now I'm just going to right click, save image as, and we're going to save it as Apple. I'm saving it in my silhouette file, so make sure you know where you save it as. And then I'm going to go down here to silhouette. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now once you're in your your Silhouette program, your Silhouette Studio, click on File and Import, Import to Library. So this, now this is opening right into my Silhouette. If you saved it somewhere else, you can go find it. So I'm going to go right there. There's my Apple. And I'm going to click OK. All right, so now it's showing this is in my Studio. So now just double click on it, and there it is. It pops up onto my screen. Now the problem, let me make this a little bit bigger, I'll show you why you have to make some adjustments. If you were to try and cut it out as is, here's the cut settings, and cut, you notice how there's no red line. There, the studio basically doesn't know where to cut. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to show it where to cut. So you click up here, this is the trace option, select your trace area. Now this, it doesn't matter, see how there's that white background around the apple. It doesn't matter if you get that in it or not. Um, well, actually it kind of does because it did select that for the side. But usually it doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't get my leaf. You know what? We can fix this. We'll let it select the side and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so do you see what happened now? You have this yellow outline around the apple, okay? That's basically where it's going to trace. So now there's all sorts of options you can do over here with the high pass filter. If you are doing a more detailed picture, you can adjust some of this stuff. You can take it clear up until the whole apple is yellow. Come on. Okay, well, we might have to play around with that to get the whole thing yellow. But you can, and then it would basically cut out the whole apple instead of just an outline. You can, the low pass filter, these are some other settings. Again, you can play around with them if you have a little more detailed image. Okay, then up here, <coughs> excuse me, you have a few different options. I'll show you what they do. So you have this regular trace that does that. Okay, so you see here we got part of the apple, the little light reflection. Do you notice how there's two lines around the apple? Basically, now, if we were to cut this out with our machine, it would cut both lines. You don't want that. Not for this. If there, Some pictures, you may want that if you want a thin line showing there, but we don't want that for this particular one. So, you can go back here, undo the move shape, and undo the edit, and there's our yellow line back again. So, we'll show you what this one does. Trace the outer edge. Okay, that's a little bit better, but see, it's still showing us those double lines. I might have to do a different picture to not get that. The reason it's showing the double lines on this one is it's going to show it wherever the apple, the lines don't connect. So basically, it's got one line to the outside, and then it rolls around, and then there's a line on the inside. Okay, so see how the leaf doesn't have it, because the leaf has, and the stem, they have a full 
went all around so it doesn't, it, it, they connect so there's only one line. That's what we want. We want one line. Now, I'm not, I'm not worried about this, the light thing. We can, I'll show you how to delete that. But let's see what this other one does. Now, <coughs> we'll undo the edit, get back to that yellow part. So Seeing you can kind of see right there where the yellow is not touching. So that's a good indicator right there that you're going to have the two lines. So let's look at this, trace and detach. Okay, so basically that just traced out the apple and detached it. So you still have your, we're gonna, I'm going to show you something here real quick. Now let's just say we're going to cut it. Let's see what it does now. Do, do, do. And it's still not finding it. So that's okay. Okay. So we're going to play around with this a little bit more to get it to go right where we want. And that's okay. Part of the, part of the fun with this is I'm just going back. I'm doing undo until we get back to where we were. Okay. Part of the fun <coughs> is playing around with it to get it to where you want. I'm going to do the low pass filter here. Let's see if we can just get the whole thing yellow. Whoops, nope, not that way. And let's, nope, oh, oh, we had it. Hey, on, come on. Okay, now we don't want that side stuff showing yellow. We just want the whole, the whole apple yellow. Let's see if we can get that line out. <gasps> Ta-da, oh. And then we had a white spot, or a spot in the middle. Okay. Now, let's try that. Trace the outer edge. Ta-da! So you can do it. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of tweaking. But you can do it. And some of the more simple pictures are not, you're not going to have to do as much tweaking. Like I said, if, they, if the lines are connected and stuff. So now, let's go here and we'll delete that. Now we have this picture here, and this is going to be what our machine will cut out. So there you go. See how it goes bright red? That means it knows how to cut it. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're ready to go. So now we've just taken a picture that we found on the internet free and saved it to our computer and imported it to Silhouette. And now you can cut this out. You can make it any size you want. You can cut it out in any color of vinyl you want. And now you have a customized cutout. And so good luck. Play around with that. And I hope you enjoy your silhouette as much as I love mine. And if you want some more information, you can always check out my blog at www.a2zformomslikeme.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.